Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we're going to be customising another one of the new Los Santos Summer Special cars. Today we're going to be customising the Vapid Peyote Custom. Finally we've got a custom version, a lowrider Benny's version of the Peyote. I couldn't understand why they didn't add this in the original lowriders update but they have finally decided to add it in the Los Santos Summer Special update but before we get into the customization if you want to see any customization of the BF Club the Yosemite Rancher the Yuga 4x4 or the Coquette D10 then I did a live stream the other day where I customized all four of those vehicles I'm not going to be customizing them again so if you want to see me customize those vehicles then I will link the live stream down in the description and in the pinned comment of the live stream I've done a time card for each of the cars so you can skip to the customization that you want to see but today we're going to be customizing the vapid pyro it costs 38 grand uh, but you can also pick this thing up off the street it is a very rare spawn but you can actually find this on the street i've already gone ahead and purchased the vehicle right here in the workshop you've all seen the peyote before so let's just hop straight into the vehicle and customize the thing now the um, upgrade fee for this is actually not too bad 600,000 so one of the cheapest um, Benny's upgrades that you will get so let's just go ahead and upgrade it and there we go we have now got a lowrider Benny's version of the Peyote so we can do all the armor breaks and everything I'm just going to do the visual stuff as usual and most of the visual stuff is actually standard peyote customization so um, a lot of it as you're going to see is um, just what we can get on the regular uh, peyote and similar to the glendale that we customized about an hour ago um, a lot of it is just the uh, the new uh, hydraulics and the subwoofer in the boot that is about all we can get and obviously some new liveries but anyway let's jump straight into it we've got aerials these are all standard on the regular peyote we can get the classic aerials just there on the back we can get the spring aerials which are just a little bit bigger um, they just sit up there on the back of the vehicle and we can get the globe like um, I don't even know what you call these like ping pong ball sort of aerials uh, this is like a very sort of 50s 60s thing so if you want to go for that you can I'm just going to go for the classic aerials I think that looks quite nice and the tank you can have secondary or chrome or you can have the stock primary one I'm just going to leave that the stock primary one on the back you can go for a primary spare wheel or secondary I like it without a spare wheel so we're going to leave that the engine block we have the stock peyote engine block we can go for the chrome livery chrome ribbed primary ribbed primary muscle and secondary muscle I like the primary ribbed so we'll go with that we can obviously upgrade the engine but I'm not going to bother um, the exhaust we have the stock peyote exhaust we can go for the shotgun exhaust which you can also get on the regular peyote you can get a titanium tipped which is new you can get the side exit exhaust the dual shotgun and the titanium dual shotgun which are all new I quite like the dual shotgun so I think we'll go for that the fenders we can go for some curb feelers just down there at the front and back wheel I'm not a huge fan of curb feelers so I'm gonna leave that off the grill these are all what you can get on the regular peyote we've got the chrome header grill the chrome exposed grill the chrome slatted gr um, grill and the chrome tooth grill I like just the chrome header grill um, it's basically just a removed badge version of the stock um, the hood we can get the stock we can have the cow hood we can have the dual filter blower the primary peyote fill, uh, blower the secondary peyote blower the oval intake bug catcher and the triple intake bug catcher I think just the cowl hood looks quite nice uh, just really clean but it does add a little feature to the bonnet um, the horn we can obviously upgrade that not gonna bother with that hydraulics we've got all the usual ones so chrome pump 
quad pumps four in a row quad pumps two by two and the quad pumps v pattern the v pattern one is the best um it does give you the most bounce in the vehicle so we'll go for that the interior we can change up the trim uh, so we can have luxury striped we can have the leopard tiger zebra camo digital camo and then we've got the crocodile luxury padded leopard and all of those um i like just the luxury stripped interior i think that looks quite nice and we might change that up actually to i think i'm going to go blue on the exterior so i might go for a blue on the interior as well just a dark blue like that the ornaments we've got all the usual bobbleheads not a fan of them the dials we can change up the dials um so you can go for a custom dial if you want i actually just like the stock one so i'm going to leave that the steering wheel we have this very low textured de classe steering wheel um so let's change that up for something a bit nicer the cruiser that actually looks really nice we'll go for that column shifters not a fan of them so we'll leave that we will go for a plate i like just the benny's neon the ice we do have some ice speakers on the back so we've got the square speaker shelf round speaker shelf integrated speaker shelf and the extreme speaker shelf as i said with the uh, glendale not a huge fan of them so i'm going to leave that the um, light color we'll just go ahead and set that to white just so it's a little bit clearer the headlights we can go and change they're like this stock sort of old yellowy kind of look looks really nice you can obviously put xenons if you want to not going to bother with any neon lights today uh, the livery we have the pristine livery which just adds some nice little pinstriping along the side there it adds um, some little bits around the wheel arches and a little bit over the hood there and a little bit on the boot lid looks really nice actually i do like that we've got the misty which is kind of similar just like a white version of that uh, just with a little bit more pinstriping going on we've got the green dash that actually looks really nice i do quite like that um, we've got the hot shot which is just the flames on the front we've got tribalistic which is like a thicker pinstripe all in white um bit too crazy not too keen on that one the plasma again um a little bit too funky i know this is kind of like a low rider thing um to make your car look like really sort of funky but i'm not into that whole sort of liveried look um but it is nice to see that if you are into that we've got the ace of spades we've got the royalty we've got the tranquility and we've got the hellfire um they're all quite unique liveries which is nice i don't think we've seen these on any other vehicles yet so that's at least something i'm just gonna go with the green dash i think that looks quite nice actually on the plate we'll just go ahead and set the plate holder to low and slow and we'll set it to black and moldy worm gaming and then on the color right so i feel like a dark blue with the green is going to look quite nice i do think the white and green actually looks pretty cool though um let's first have a look how the green and the blue looks so i was thinking like a dark blue like this with the green um not 100 percent sold on that i actually think um just classic white is actually going to look quite nice let's have a look how that looked um maybe like the cream um no i think the ice white actually does look really nice i do like that the secondary color what is that going to change okay so that's going to change that like striping on the seat there um we're gonna have to go ahead and change the uh, interior color uh, so let's try and match it up a little bit with the sort of livery i guess or we could actually go for the white interior i think that's gonna look the best match that up with the car and then the secondary color which is going to change that striping on the seat um i think we'll try and match that up with the livery so like a 
gasoline green maybe or hmm yeah I think gasoline green is the closest that we can actually get so we'll go for that that looks really nice now the roof we can go for a remove roof look you can have the stock roof which is this like zebra pattern one you can have the leopard one or you can have the zebra one um, I don't really like any of these it's a shame we can't get just a sort of painted version like a liveried uh, version of the roof uh, because I don't really like any of these like crazy like zebra and the leopard and the tiger um, I think honestly just the no roof option looks the best with the build we can do the transmission not gonna bother the trunk we've got the square speaker shelf round speaker shelf garage trunk install the twin sub trunk install and the triple sub install um, I think the twin sub trunk install looks the nicest so we'll go for that you can put a turbo on if you want now the wheels I feel like some Benny's original wheels will look quite good on this um, I do quite like them with the like that little like star like um, thing on the middle of the wheel uh, so we'll try and find some maybe with that um, all these are gonna look a little bit too crazy so I think honestly these ones here and then paint those black or maybe we'll go white yeah we'll go white sort of to match it to the rest of the car and then do we want to go for some pinstriping um, I don't think it really suits the car so we'll leave the pinstriping off you can go tire smoke and bulletproof tires not gonna bother with that the windows we don't really need to tint them because we've got a remove roof anyway and that is the thing fully customized not a whole lot you can change compared to the regular Pyote like I said it's mainly just hydraulics and the trunk sub but um, it is a nice vehicle so let's take it outside and just see how it performs and it's a lovely nice rainy day for us um, especially with our open roof we're driving around with an open roof in what is a storm but anyway we've got our beautiful looking peyote here it does actually look really nice i like the uh, the white and the green i think that looks really nice uh, but let's just see now how this thing bounces compared to the um the glendale that we tested an hour ago now this thing like the glendale has quite a big overhang on the back so um if you're bouncing it forwards like i am here well thank you NPC if you're bouncing it forwards like I am here it's not too bad um, I think if we try bouncing it on the back yeah it's gonna bottom out a little bit just like we had on the Glendale um, but it is nice that we have got a sort of lifted lowered Benny's version now of the Peyote you can obviously jump it if you want to but I like just driving it around sort of lowered it looks really nice nice little addition by Rockstar I don't understand why they didn't add this with the original sort of low riders update but they have added it now anyway so at least that's something but that is going to do it for taking a look at the new Peyote custom customization I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please smash the like button and subscribe if you are new we've got one more car that we're going to be customizing in an hour we're going to be customizing the new uh, Manana so if you want to see customization of that then stick around on the channel but that's going to do it for today thank you all so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video